Hey, I'm Sarah, this is Abby, and welcome to Aswool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the US, Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. All right, let's get into the video. I normally do not do this kind of thing. <laughs> If you guys have been following along with my van life and scuba diving adventures, you know that I've been doing everything on a major budget, not driving far out of my way, always making really careful plans so that I don't spend much money on gas. I mean, it's like, it's been a real mental load doing everything that I've done over the past couple of years. But I'm finally in a place where I can spend a little bit more on my diving and my adventures. I was just at a dive shop in Durango, Colorado, telling him my plans for diving in some of the lakes like a few hours away from Durango. He was like, well, I'm not familiar with those places, but there is an awesome high altitude lake nearby Durango. And I was like, oh really? Do tell. <laughs> so he told me about Clear Lake and I've done a little bit of research now. Sounds like the road is absolute hell and I'm going up to 14,000 feet. Dirt roads are not my favorite. I make it through them. You know, they sort of rattle my brains and uh, shake up my nervous system, <laughs> but I decided I want to do this. I'm an O's. Ears are popping. The van is, well, she's, she's making it. Come on, Ariel. You can do it, baby. Decided on a little pit stop because I haven't really eaten anything all day. And the last thing I want to be while going up a really tough road is hangry. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Just a day use area. I don't remember the name. I think it's called Anderson Lake. I love being up at this altitude because it's so fresh. It's been so hot down nearby cities and stuff. I'm <laughs> gasping for breath though because I'm already <sighs> feeling it. <laughs> oh, my little ocean body just can't quite handle the altitude, but I love it. Plus it gives me an opportunity to deal with this mess. <laughs> I went grocery shopping right before heading up the mountain and did not even bother with putting anything away. So I'm gonna make this place a little bit more hospitable for both of us. She's such a trooper. <laughs> Told you things were better financially, but they're not all the way fixed. <laughs> Actually, even if I was making a ton of money, I'd still probably live like a feral woman in the woods. Just no plates or bowls. Just absolutely classy. This is only supposed to be 10 miles, but almost two hours. And this would be why we're already on a dirt road. So fingers crossed it's not too bad. Okay, <laughs> if this guy can do it, anybody can. <laughs> Apparently there's other campsites nearby. So I'm, I'm assuming that one did not go all the way up to Clear Lake. If they did, that's impressive. Oh dear God. Uh, um, I don't know about this one. I mean, uh, shit. slow and steady, slow and steady. I'm terrified. This is going to be fun, right? Totally worth it. Uh, uh, uh. Oi. Wait. Oh, we are up here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Got this. It can't be any worse than Baja roads, right? Like, at least it's not miles and miles of washboard. Okay. Ooh, here's some rocks. Oi, oi, oi. There you go, you got it, Ariel. That's 
my water jug just like bouncing all over the place. Holy cow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm bailing out of this situation. It. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bailing on this idea. Absolutely not. Okay, that was a little too ambitious for me. <laughs> uh, there's something about driving on a road up, like with the cliff on the side. I don't know. I, I wasn't scared. Oh, what's the matter, honey? I wasn't scared to drive to Baja, but like that... That was a little scary. <laughs> so thank goodness for locals who kind of let me know what I was in store for because I had a little moment on a really tight turn and they were explaining the rest of the road to me. And I was like, no, that's not for me. But they did give me the hilarious idea to hitchhike to do this dive. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hang out here. I've got a great little camp. I'm gonna see if somebody will take me to the lake tomorrow. And hopefully I don't get murdered, you know, cause being a woman in modern society. Proof that we're at altitude. Woohoo! Remember, my scuba diving friends, as you go up, air expands. That's why we see this. Buenos dias. 6.30 in the morning. Not too early, but it is cold. Oh man, what am I doing here? <laughs> Question I ask myself so many times in a week. <laughs> Plan is to hitchhike up to the lake. I don't feel great about this plan. <laughs> I'm gonna get my stuff ready, go out there, see what kind of people I'm encountering. If it feels safe, I'll go for it. If it feels safe is the big factor there. I'm sure it is. There's just a lot of crazy stuff going on in the United States, so like, I am cautious. Ugh, I gotta wake up. Alright, I've made a decision. I'm going to hitchhike, or at least I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna take my free diving gear. I feel like it's a lot to ask of a stranger to like load up all that stuff and it also just, it feels intimidating to do that by myself. Not here for it. Maybe something will work out that I can scuba dive it later, but also maybe it will just be perfect for free diving. <laughs> This is the most ridiculous thing I've done for a day of diving. Oh man, I think I'm missing someone. Ah, oh, I should have been there. I've literally not gone very far at all. But this elevation. Go to Clear Lake. Come back. Oh, I think hanging out in the shade and just seeing if somebody will come by is a good option, huh, baby? That motorbike blew right past me. And I gotta say, in Indonesia, even with all of my stuff, a person on a motorbike would have stopped to give me a lift. I'm just saying. We got a Jeep, you guys, we got a Jeep. Okay, I don't feel so lame because two guys in a Jeep just chickened out <laughs> once they found out that the road is like four miles long. I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a while. Do your nails tonight? Yes, I am. 
Those things are getting long, baby girl. Let me see. Let me see your footies. Look at this. You need a pedicure. Manny Petty. I know, I know, you don't like that. Oh, here comes someone. We got another Jeep. We got another Jeep. They just shrugged and kept driving. <laughs> We've got a truck. Uh, they're stopping, not promising. I attempted this road yesterday in my van and got about a mile and a half up and was like, oh, this isn't for me. <laughs> I've been trying to find a ride. Yeah, I heard that there's, um, I wanted to camp there, but obviously you have to get all the way up. Uh, it's like the switchbacks right before the lake is a good spot for boondocking. Have you decided that this is your vehicle now? <laughs> you know way more than I do about this. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Should I have my seatbelt on? Yeah, I'll okay. I'll join you. <laughs> you got your seatbelt on, Abby? I am so impressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> my All stomach right. is in my throat. <laughs> that was awesome. Good job. Well, like I said, see that snow bank there? Yeah. That, that, this might be it. Yeah. This might be it. We've got a winch on the front and things like that. But... Just that side? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm freaking out. That seems way easier than the last one. <laughs> That was epic. <laughs> you sound like you've done way harder things, but this is like a novelty for me because I'm such a beach girl. <laughs> this would scare the living hell out of me. Oh yeah, Excuse you got me. this, you got this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I gotta get in the water. I've heard that there's fish, but I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Crocs in the snow. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Eddie, what is this? We don't ever play in snow. We. <laughs> well, you have to try. Right? Let's see how thick it is. Maybe. Yeah, it's open on you. Oh yeah. Maybe there's a path. <laughs> That's about us. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my gosh.
world. <laughs> You're okay, baby. It's okay. It's been Beecham. so awesome. Yeah. Like, can I can I hug you? Oh, sure. It's yeah. so nice to meet nice you, to meet you and so much fun. Thank that you for was, everything. It was good. Thank you. It was fun. <laughs> so if you need anything, I'll be around the area. If you awesome. know, flag me down or whatever you have to see me. Cool. All right. All right be sir. safe. Have a good night. All right. You too. Bye. Come on. <laughs> oh my good lord. That was silly. Fourteen thousand feet. Ooh. I need something warm to drink. Okay, I am positively exhausted, but I have been trying to record my yoga class for Patreon for like four days, and it has been way too windy for me to do that. So, even though with every ounce of my soul, I just want to like lay on the ground and drink a lot of water because I feel very dehydrated from today's events, I am gonna go teach a yoga class. It's a beautiful setting, check it out. And I just did a sound check. The water is loud, but I think it's gonna be okay. This is the life of <laughs> someone who's trying to do way too much and survive, but I'm, I'm doing it. I'm thriving. That's, I've, I'm changing my, my narrative. I'm not surviving anymore, I'm thriving. Sarah Smash. Ha. Good job, Sarita. We did it. My hands and feet are frozen. Hands and feet are frozen. Hands and feet are frozen. It is almost nine o'clock and I finished my yoga class. I want to fall asleep immediately. Okay, love you, bye.